In this video, we're going to look at the installation and configuration of B4J in preparation for your own development activities with this wonderful Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. Now, the first place you should go whenever you're doing anything with B4J is the B4X website. In this case, go to the B4J main help page and look at the steps in installation. The first thing you have to install as a dependency is the JDK from the Oracle website. In this case, I'm using Windows 10 as my operating system, so I need to accept the license agreement and install the Windows X64 version of the JDK. Once you click Accept the License Agreement, click on the download link for the particular version of JDK, and allow the executable to download to your PC. And this takes maybe a few minutes, uh, depending on the speed of your connection. I've sped it up here for the purposes of our uh, training. Once it's downloaded, of course, run it. Click Next. Just choose the defaults. And allow it to install. Once the initial installation is uh, or download of the various dependencies for JDK are downloaded, then you go through the main installation of Java. And once this is done, close it. And go back to the B4X installation page. If you're using an older version of Windows, you'll need to install the .NET framework. If not, you can jump right to the download of the B4J IDE. This only takes a few moments as it's not a very large executable. And once the product's down, done downloading, go ahead and run the executable. Simply choose your defaults. One thing that you will have to do, of course, is accept the license agreement. Choose the path where you want to install the product or leave it default. Create a desktop icon as you, hopefully you'll be using this to develop quite a few of your own applications. And then you can either uh, launch it from the end of the installation or I choose to clean up my desktop first before I go into the B4J product initially. Now there's only one more step you have to do in order to uh, get B4J ready to develop your own applications. And that's configure the path so that B4J knows where the JDK executable that you downloaded earlier is located. The reason this is important is it's involved in the um, compilation process of your own applications. Although you're developing them within the B4J product, JDK is required in order to compile your own executables, or even in debug mode, it's required to basically compile your applications for running. So you look for the path under Program Files, Java, the particular version, and bin, and that's it. You're done installing and configuring B4J, and you're ready to create wonderful applications for server, desktop, even the Raspberry Pi.
one other thing that I want to mention is that if you have any questions or anything that you would like to do with the product and you don't know how to do it, go to the uh, B4J help. There's tons of documentation on uh, the libraries. There's tutorials. There's code samples as well as a very good search feature. Most of the time you'll find what you're looking for in search because someone else has looked for it. If not, you become a part of the Anywhere software community by contributing answers to other folks as well as getting answers to your own questions. Thank you.